Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christos anestic negron thanato thanaton patisas getis etis nimans his way in charisamenos. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling on death and on those in the tombs, bestowing life. Christos anestic negron thanato thanaton patisas getis etis nimans his way in charisamenos. Doxa patriki orke yuk nemati kenin kei kei suseonas toneon lamin. Παναγία τριά σε λέει στον ημά, κύριε Λάσσα, τα ματία ημών. Δέσποτα σε χώρε των Σανομία, είναι η Νάγια, επίσκεψε και για σε τα ασθενεία ημών. Ένε και εν του ονοματό σου, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Δόξα πατρίκη, ο και ο πνεύμα, τη κοινή και η κύση του αιώνα, τον αιώνα να μην. Πάτερη, μόνο εν τη ουρανή, αγιαστεί το όνομά σου, ορτέ το βασιλείο σου. Γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου, ω τον ουρανό και επί τη γη, τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων δόσεων σήμερων. Και άφησε μην τα οφλήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφήνουμε με τι οφελέτε ημών. Και μην σαν έγκυση μα τη πειρασμό να αναρρίσει εμά από του πονηρού. Ότι σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν, σώσον κύριε των λαών σου και βλόγισον την κληρονομία σου. Νίκα τη βασιλεύση κατά βαβάρο δρούμενο και το σον φυλάτων διά του σταυρού σου πολίτευμα. Δόξα Πατρίκη, ο και ο Πνεύματι, ο Υψωτή εντό Σταυρού Εκουσίω, τη φωνή μου σου καινή πολιτεία, του Συκτηρημού σου δόρισε Χριστέ ο Θεό, έφρανον εν τη δυνάμει σου του πιστού Βασιλίσιμων, νίκα χορηγών αυτή κατά του πολεμίων, την συμμαχία να έχει την συνόπλων ειρήνη αίτη των τρόπεων, και νυν και αίκαι ει του αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Προστασία φοβερά και ακατέση, εν δεμη παρήδη αγαθή τη Εκκλησία ημών, πανίμητε Θεοτόκε. Στήριξον Ορθοδόξων πολιτείαν, σώζε ο Σικέλο σα βασιλεύει και χορηγεί αυτή σου ρανόθεν την νίκη. Διότι έτυχε στον Θεό μόνη ευλογημένη. Μέση ο Νασα Γκάρ, according to great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We pray for the devout and Orthodox Christian. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We pray for our Archbishop Macario. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the Holy, Consubstantial, and Life-Giving, and Indivisible Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. Κύριε, μην το θυμό σου, λέξει με, μη δε τι οργή σου παιδεύσει με, ότι τα βέλη σου επαγισάμε και επιστήρεξε σε φεμέ τη χείρα σου, που και στην ίαση εν τη αρκή μου από προσώπου τη οργή σου, και στην ειρήνη εν τη σωστέα μου, από προσώπου των αμαρτιών μου, ότι η ανομία μου περίραν την κεφαλή μου, όσοι φορτίο βαρύ ευαρύνθησαν από με, προσώζησαν και σάπησαν οι μονοπέ μου από προσώπου τη αφροσύνη μου, ταλαιπώρησα και, και κατεκάω την έω τέλο όλη την ημέρα και τροπάζω με προβόμη. Ότι υψώ μου πλήθησαν επεμάτω, ότι ο καίε στην ίαση σε τη σαρκή μου, κακόθην και ταπεινώθην έω πόδωρο οριόμιν από στεναγμού τη καρδία μου. Κύριε εναντίον σου, πάση επιθυμία μου και στεναγμό μου, πω σου ου καπεκρύβει, καρδία μου τεράχθη, κατέληπε με ισχύ μου και το φω των οθαμών και αυτού και έστη με τεμού. Οι φίλοι μου και η πλησία μου εξαναντία μου ήσαν και έστησαν, και εγκιστά μου από μακρόθεν έστησαν, και εξηβιάζουν και ζητούντα την ψυχή μου και ζητούντα τα κακά μου λάλη αματαιότητα. Και εδώ λιώτητα όλη την ημέρα να μελέθησαν. Εγώ δε ω οικοφό σου κοικούν και ω άλλο λόγο σου κανεί με το στόμα αυτού. 
και γινόμενοι όσοι άνθρωπος σου κακούν και όχι έχουν εν το στόμα τη αυτού ελεγμούς, ότι επί σε Κύριε, επί σας εις ακούσει Κύριο Θεός μου, ότι είπω μη είπω ότι επί χαρώσει μη εχθρή μου, και εν το σταλευτήν επόδες μου με με αγαλωριμόνησαν, ότι εγώ εις μάστηγας έτοιμος και αλληδόν μου ενωποιόμως τη ίδια παντός, ότι την ανομία μου εγώ αναγγελώ και με λυνήσω υπέρ της αμαρτίας μου, μη δε εχθρή μου ζώσει και κρατέονται υπέρ με και πλην την της ανημισών της μαντήκος, ή ανταποδιδοντές μη κακά αντί αγαθών εν διέβαλών με, έπι κατά δύο και να δοδοσύνη, μην καταλείπεις με Κύριο Θεός μου μη αποστής από εμού, πρόσχεση στην βοηθειά μου Κύριε της σωτηρίας μου, μην καταλείπεις με Κύριο Θεός μου μη αποστής από εμού, πρόσχεση στην βοηθειά μου Κύριε της σωτηρίας μου. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you, my soul thirsts for you, how often my flesh thirsts for you in the desolate, impassable and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Κύριο Θεό, η σωτηρία μου ημέρα σε και έκρασα και νυχτή εναντίον σου. Ει αθέτων οποίων σου η προσευχή μου κλείνω το όσο ει την τέησή μου. Ό,τι πλήσει κακόν η ψυχή μου και η ζωή μου τα αδιήγγισε. Προσέλογη στη μετά του κατεβενόντων ει λάθων εν γίνει ήθινο ή άνθρωπο αβοήθητο εν νεκρή ελεύθερο. Ω η τραυματέα κατέβοντα εν τάφο όν ουν και μη στην έτη, και αυτοί εκ τη χειρό απόστησαν. Εθεντώ με λάθο κατ' οτάτων σκοτεινή και εν σκιά θανάτων. Επεμέ επιστηρίθη ο θυμό σου και πάντα του μετεωρισμού σου υπήγαγε σε επεμέ. Εμάφρο του γνωστού μα πεμού έθεντο με δέλημα εαυτή. Παρεδόθηκε ούξε προβόμενη ο θεαλμή μου ασθένη σαν αποπτωχία. Εκεί έκραξα προ σε κύριε όλη την ημέρα διαπέδωσα προ σε δασχύρα μου. Μη τη νικρή ποιήση στα μπάσια. Οι ατροί αναστήσωσε και εξομολογήσονται έσυ. Μη διήσετε τη εν το τάφο το ελαιό σου και την αληθιά σου εν διαπολία. Μην γνωστήστε την δοσκότητα τα μασιά σου και δικαιοσύνη σου εν γη επελυγισμένη. Αγώ προσε κύριε και έκραξα και το πρωί προσευχή μου προθάσισε. Ή να την κύριε αποθεί τη ψυχή μου όπω ρεύει στο πρόσωπό σα πενώ. Το χώσι μη εγώ και εν κόπη σε κνεότητό μου. Υψωθήστε τα πινότη και έξι φορήθη. Βεμέδι ήλθιν οι οριέ σου ορθοβερισμοί σου ξετάραξαν με. Εκεί κλωσάν με ω η δρόλη την ημέρα περιέσκω με άμα. Εμάθουν σαν πρεμού φίλων και πλησίων και του γνωστού μου από τελαπορία. Κύριο Θεό, η σωτηρία μου ημέρα σε κέκλεισα και ενυχθεί εναντίον σου. Η σελθέ των οποίων σου η προσευχή μου κλείνω το όσο η συντέηση μου. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, 
so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Και μη σε έρθει εσύ κρίση μετά το δούλου σου, ότι ούτε και οθήστε τον οποίο σου παζών. Ούτε κατά δύο ξενεχτρό στην ψυχή μου, ταπείνω σε νησιέν τη ζωή μου. Και κάθισε με σκοτεινή ω νεκρού αιώνου και κηδεία σε νεπεμέ το πνεύμα μου, είναι μία ταράχτη η καρδία μου. Εμεί την ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτησαν πάση τη έργη σου. Εμπίμαση των χειρών σου εμελέτων. Διεπέτασα προσέτο χείρα μου η ψυχή μου ω γιάννη τρόση. Ταχύ άκουσα με κήρυξε έλειπε το πνεύμα μου. Μη αποστρέψτε προσωπών σα πεμού και με οτίσου με τι καταβαίνω σε λάκο. Ακουστώ πίσω μη το πρωί το ελαιό σου ότι επισύρπησα. Γνωρισό μη κύριο δόνι να υπορεύσουμε την προσέδα την ψυχή μου. Εξελούμε εκ των εχθρών μου κύριε προσέκατε έφυγον. Διδαξώ με το ποιήν το θέλημά σου τη ο Θεό μου. Το πνεύμα σου τα αγαθών οδηγήσει με γη ευθεία. Ένικε το όνοματό σου κύριε ζήσει με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάρτησε εκλείψε ω την ψυχή μου. Εν το λέει σου ξολοθρέψει του εχθρού μου. Και απολύ πάντω σου στλίβονται στην ψυχή μου τη γουοδούλου σου ημί. Τη άκουσα με κύριε τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μισά τη συσκρίση μετά το δούλου σου. Τη άκουσα με κύριε τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μισά τη συσκρίση μετά το δούλου σου. Το πνεύμα σου τα αγαθόν οδηγήσει με γη ευθεία. Δόξα πατρική ο και γιο πνεύμα τη κοινή και η και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Αλληλούι, 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 αδόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούι, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Η ελπίση μου, κύριε, δόξα σε. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Makarios, the Honorable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and country and the believers who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling by land, or sea, or air, for those who are sick, suffering, or captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios Kepefanenimi Ευλογημένος ο αρχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Πάντα τα έθνη κυκλωσάμε και το όνομα του Κυρίου ημινάμε εν αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημί. Ευλογημένος ο αρχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. The 
what I give you again, and this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ο Θεό τη Ιχάρητη. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και οι Παρθένου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτού και αλλήλου. Και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Ότι πρέπει η πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση στο πατρί και το αιώ. Το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Χριστός εκ νεκρών εγίγεται η απαρχή των και κοιμημένων. Ο πρωτότοκος της κτήσεως και δημιουργός πάντων των γεγονότων. Την καταθαρίσαν φύση του γένους ημών εν εαυτόν εκενήσεν και στη θάνατε κυριεύεις ο γαρ των όλων δεσπότη το κράτος σου και τέλησε. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit when you have physically tasted death, O Lord you curtailed its bitterness by your resurrection and you strengthened humanity against it by reversing the failure related to the primal cause. O oh, defender of our life, glory to you, O Lord. Can in kai Jesus on us to know on a mean the noreotita this parthenia su ke to iter lambron to this agnia su O Gabriel kata plagi se vo asi theotokie Πιον σι εν κομιόμον προς αγαγό επαξιόν Τι δε ονομάσωσε απορώ και εξίσταμε Διός προς ετάγιν δώσει χαίρεοι και χαρίτωμένοι Appropriating all our human attributes Deigning to make your own Oh, my Creator, it was your good pleasure to be crucified. Thus, O oh Master, you preferred to submit as a man to death so that you might liberate humankind out of death as God. And therefore we cry out to you, life giver, glory to your compassion. Ο Χριστός, ο Πατρίκαιος και ο Πνεύματι, το 
ακατάληπτον το τη σταυρώσεω και ανερμηνευτών το τη εγέρσεω. Θεολογούμενη πιστή απορρίτω μυστήριο. Σήμερα γαρθάνατο και ο άδεισε σκύλευτε. Γένο δε ανθρώπινων αφασίαν ενδεδείτε. Ευχαρίστως κραβάζομαι, δόξα Χριστέ τη Αναστάση Σου. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. All beings heavenly, with longing love for joy, while everything on earth with trembling stood in awe. When the immaculate voice came to you, O Theotokos, and a single first of all, Brightly shone above and below, for your son delivered from death the man that he had fashioned first. And therefore, with the angel, we cry to you, rejoice, O pure and virgin mother. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Τον Αγγέλων ο Δήμο κατεπλάγει ο Ρόντσε. Ενεκρή λόγοι στέντα του θανάτου δε σωτή την ισχύ καθελώντα. Και συνέαυτο τον Αδάμε γύραντα. Και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερό σάντα. Λάσσερα, you O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity? O women disciples, thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Λία πρωί, μυροφόρη δραμό προ το μνήμα σου φινολογούσε. Αλλά πέστη προ αυτά ο Άγγελο και είπε: Την ο καιρό πεπαυτέ μη κλέτε. Την ανάσταση με αποστολή είπατε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the murdering women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Doxa patri ke io ke io pnemati. Προσκυνούμεν Πατέρα και τον τούτου Ιόντε και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Αγία Τριάδα εν μια αδειοσία συν τη Σεραφήμ κράζονται στο Άγιος 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 η Κύριε Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxa sio theo. Alleluia, alleluia. Astounding in appearance, refreshing by the words he spoke, the flashing angel said to the myrrh-bearing women, Why do you look in a tomb for the living one? He is risen. risen and has emptied the tombs. Know him, the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, how awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. Come back, Tom Bathon, Prozoine, Kisson Loyer. Though 
those who sow shed in godly tears when the south wind is blowing joyously will harvest years of life everlasting doxa patrike o ke yo pneumati ninka i ke isu se onas to ne ononami Αγί ο πνεύμα τη πασαγαθορία, ω πατρί και ιό συναστράφτη. Ενώ πάντα ζωή και νύχτε. Unless the Lord build the house of the virtues, in vain do we labor. But if He protect the soul, no one can conquer our city. Του καρπού τη γαστρό το πνεύμα τη, η οπίτηση το Χριστό, ω πατρία γύρω πάντοτε ήδη. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, I perceived all holiness and wisdom. For he gives substance to all creation. Since he is God, let us worship him as we do the Father and Lord. If a woman it on Gideon, Macari, tribus vadionde, ton endolon fagonde, zoiran carpa carpia. Gazing on your offspring round about your table, bearing branches of good works, be glad, O arch pastor. Doxa patrike o kia yo pneumati, inka i ke istu se onos to ne ononami. Agi o pneumati o pas plutos tis doxis, exu charis kia zoi pasitik tisi. Simbatri garanim nite ke dolo. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for He established the world, which shall not be shaken. I patendi seth ne sinoti kirio se vasilevse, ke gar katorzo se tini kumenin. It is so solemn. Sing a new song to the Lord. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for He established the world, which shall not be shaken. Anastase osimera lambrithomen lai. Pasca kiri u pasca, ekathana tu prosoin, ke gis prosura no Christos o Theos, imas di e vivas en epiniki o na bondas. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Let us purify our senses and then we shall see by the unapproachable light of the resurrection. Christ shining vividly, and we shall distinctly hear him saying, Rejoice to us as we sing the triumphal hymn. Doxa ti ai anastasi su kirie, urani men epaxio se pranesto san, i dea galiasto, e orta zeto de cosmos, oratos de apas que a oratos, Christo oscare gigete, Glory to your holy reser. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now we say that you pried open the boundaries by death, O blameless Holy Virgin. For you are truly she who bore life eternal, namely Jesus who rose today and shone from the sepulcher and illumined the universe. In ke ai ke isu se onas to ne ononami, anas tanda kati dusa sun theon ke ion ke theon ke risin apostolis theo charito te agni ke to chere proturgos os pano angharas etia es dex dexe theo mitor panamome. Let us drink a new drink, 
Not one marvelously issuing from a barren rock, but one that cries from the tomb, pours out in corruption's very source, for we are established in him. Doxa tia ia anastasi su kirie, nin panda pe plirote foto sura nos de kegi, keta kata thonia, eota zeto gumpasa fisis, Tine eiers in Christu, eni estereote. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord, buried with you yesterday, O Christ, with you now resurrected, I also rise today. Yesterday I was with you crucified, O Savior, with yourself glorify me in your rule. Doxa Patrike, O Keio Pneumati, Επί την ακύρα των ζωήν επανέρχονται σήμερον αγαθοτήτη του γεννηθέντος έξου και πάση στη πέρα συναγνή το φέγγος αστράψαντο. But now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Immaculate Lady, as you gaze on your Son, whom you bore in the flesh and you who was God, rose from the dead as he said, celebrate, and as he is our God, magnify him, virgin pure. sinned in every way, I have improperly acted. Therefore with paralysis, my soul is woefully stricken. Raise it up, O Lord, through your own divine attention, even as of old you raised up the paralytic, so that saved I may cry, glory to your dominion, O my compassionate Christ. You hold the wide world in the palm of your hand, O Jesus God, with the Father without origin, and with the Holy Spirit, master over all things. You appeared in the flesh, curing diseases, and you drove away passions and gave sight to the blind. And by your divine word, you raised up the paralytic, commanding him suddenly to walk and take up the pallet on which he lay. Therefore, along with him, we all extol you and cry out, Glory to your dominion, O my compassionate Christ. Glory to your dominion, O my compassionate Christ. On May 15, we commemorate our devout father, Pahomios the Great. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Achilios, Metropolitan of Larissa. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Varvaros the Murbear Streamer. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Pascha, we remember the paralytic and appropriately celebrate the miracle worked on him. The word of the Christ was a brace for the paralytic 
Thus his cure by me utterance was accomplished. In your infinite mercy, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπουμε το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα στον αιώνα. Αμήν, πάσα πνοή ενεσάτω τον κύριο. Καταξιωθήνε ημάς της ακροάσεως του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, Κύριον των Θεών ημών, νικετεύσομαι. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον. Σοφία ορθή, ακούσουμεν του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, ειρήνη πάση. Εν το πνεύμα σου. Εκ του καταλούκαν Αγίου Ευαγγελίου το ανάγνωσμα πρόσχομαι. Δόξα Συ, Κύριε, δόξα Συ. Το καιρό εκείνο, ο Πέτρος, Αναστάς, έδραμεν επί των μνημείων και παρακύψας βλέπει τα οθόνια κείμενα μόνα και απήλθε προς εαυτόν θαυμάζον το γεγονός. 
και ειδού δύο εξ αυτών ήσαν πορευόμενοι εν αυτή τη ημέρα εις κόμιν, απέχουσαν στα δύους εξήκοντα από Ιερουσαλήμ, η όνομα Εμαούς. Και αυτοί ομίλουν προς αλλήλους περί πάντων των συμβεβικότων τούτων, και γένετο εν το ομιλήν αυτούς και συζητήν, και αυτός ο Ιησούς εν κύσα συνεπορεύετο αυτής, η δεοφθαλμοί αυτών εκρατούντο του μη επιγνώνε αυτών. Είπε δε προς αυτούς, «Τίνες οι λόγοι ούτι ους αντιβάλλετε προς αλλήλους περιπατούντες και εστές κυθροποί». Αποκριθείς δε ο εις ο όνομα Κλεόπας, είπε προς αυτόν, «Συ μόνος παρικής εν Ιερουσαλήμ και ού και έγνωστα γενόμεναν αυτοί εν τες ημέρες ταύτες». Και είπεν αυτής, «Πία, είδε είπον αυτό, τα περί Ιησού του Ναζωρέου, ως εγένετο ανήρ προφήτης, δυνατός εν έργο και λόγο εναντίον του Θεού και παντός του λαού, όπως τε παρέδωκαν αυτόν οι αρχιερείς και οι άρχοντες ημών εις κρίμα θανάτου και εσταύρωσαν αυτόν. Εμείς δε ελπίζομεν ότι αυτός εστίν ο μέλλον λειτουργούστε τον Ισραήλ. Αλλά άγιες εν πάση τούτης, τρίτην τα αυτήν ημέρα να άγιοι σήμερον αφού τα αυτά εγένετον. Αλλά και οι γυναίκες την έσεξη μόν εξέστησαν ημάς, γενόμενε όρθιε επί των μνημείων και μη ευρούσε το σώμα αυτού, ήλθον λέγουσε και οπτασίαν αγγέλωνε ορακένε ή λέγουσιν αυτόν ζήν. Και απήλθον την έστων συνημήν επί των μνημείων και εύρον ούτω, καθώς και οι γυναίκες είπων, «Αυτόν δε ουκίδων». Και αυτός είπε προς αυτούς, «Ο ανόητη και βραδύ στη καρδία του πιστεύνε επί πάσιν, εις ελάλησαν οι προφήτε. Ουχή τα αυτά έδι, αθήν των Χριστών, και εις ελθήν εις την δόξαν αυτού, και αρξάμενος από Μωσέως και από πάντων των προφητών, διερμήνευεν αυτής εν πάσες τις γραφές τα περί αυτού. Και έγκυσαν εις την κόμη που επορεύοντο, και αυτός προσεποιεί το ποροτέρο πορεύεσθε. Και παρεβιάσουν το αυτόν λέγοντες, μήνων με θυμόν ότι προσεσπέρανε στη και κέκλικεν η ημέρα, και εισήλθε του μήνε συν αυτής, και γένετο εν το κατακληθήνε αυτόν με ταυτόν, λαβών των άρτων ευλόγησε, και κλάσαν σε παιδί του αυτής. Αυτόν δε διενύχθησαν οι οθαλμοί και επέγνωσαν αυτόν, και αυτός άφαντος εγένετο από αυτόν. Και είπαν προς αλλήλους, Ουχή η καρδία ημών και ομένη είναι νημήν, ως ελάλη ημήν εν διωδό και ως διήνη γεννημήν τας γρα... γραφάς. Και αναστάντες αυτή τη ώρα υπέστρεψαν εις Ιερουσαλήμ και εύρων συνηθισμένου τους έντεκα και τους συναυτής λέγοντας ότι για έρθει ο Κύριος όντως και όφθησή μονή και αυτοί εξηγούν τον τα εν διωδό. ως εγνώστη αυτής εν την κλάση του άρτου. Δόξα Σύ Κύριε, δόξα Σύ. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Ελέησον με ο Θεός κατά το μεγαλέο σου και κατά το πλήθος των ηττυρμών σου εξάλειψον το όνομιμά μου. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Ότι την ανομία μου εγώ γινώσκω Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. <speaking in Hebrew> Truth, you showed me the unknown and 
καθαριστήσομε πληνείς με και υπερχείον αλευκανθήσομε το προσωπόν σου από των αμαρτιών μου και πάσα στα σανομίας μου εξάλειψω. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Μη απορρίψεις με από του προσώπου σου και το πνεύμα σου το Άγιον μη ανδανέλης απ' εμού. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Η δάξω ανόμους τα σωδού σου, και ας εμείς επίσης επιστρέψουσι. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. your inheritance look upon your world with mercy and compassion raise the orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady Theotokos and ever virgin Mary the power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven the supplications of the Honorable and Glorious Prophet and Forerunner John the Baptist, of the Holy, Glorious and Praiseworthy Apostles, of the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our Holy God-bearing Ancestors, of the Holy Great Martyr George the Trophy Bearer, the Patron of this Church, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the saints whose memory we keep today, the Holy Father Pachomios the Great, and the Holy Father Achilios, Archbishop of Larissa, and of all the saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have
mercy, compassion, and love for humankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In Theotokon, ke mitera tu fotos, en imnis di montes Παθώντα και τα φέντα και αναστάντα τριήμερων εκτάφου. Φωτίζουν, φωτίζουν οι νέα Ιερουσαλήμ. Η γαρδόξα κυρίου επί σε ανέφυλε. Ωρεβενή και αγαλουσίων. Σύνδε αγνίτε που θεοτόκε εν τη Si tu tocu su Oh my soul magnify Christ who is the giver of life and who rose from the grave on the third day Arise shine arise shine O new Jerusalem shine for the glory of the Lord has arisen upon you so Θεός της ηχαρητής 
Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου, δέσποινη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊ Παρθένου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε. Εαυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή νημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Συγκυρία. Ότι σε νουσί πάσε δυνάμει των ουρανών και συνειδόξαν αναπέμπουσι το πατρί και το αιώ και το αγίο πνεύμα την ειν και αή και ει του αιώνα των Sound of trumpet, 
praise him with the harp and lyre. Those who guarded you reported all the marvelous servants, O Lord. However, the Sanhedrin of futility filled their hands with gifts, thinking that in this way they could hide your resurrection which the world glorifies. Have mercy on us. Εν εν τυπάνω και χορό, εν είτε αυτόν, εν χορδές και οργάνων. Χαρά στα πάντα, με πλήρονται της Αναστάσεως, την πήραν η λιφώτα. Praise Him with resounding cymbals, praise Him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. In your light we shall see light, O Master, who loves humanity. For you have risen from the dead, and you granted salvation to the human race so that all creation may glorify you, only sinless one, have mercy on us. Anastin. As smoke vanishes from fire, so let them vanish. As wax melts before the fire, come now from that sight, O oh, you women and heralds of good news, and say to Zion, receive from us the joyful tidings of the resurrection of Christ. O Jerusalem, be exalted. Dance and leap for joy, for you have witnessed Christ the King coming forth as a bridegroom from the sepulchre. <laughs>
This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Pascha of delight, Pascha the Lord's Pascha. Pascha, all venerable, has risen for us. Pascha with joy, let us embrace one another. Pascha, the ransom from sorrow. Today from the sepulchre, Christ emerged resplendently as from a bridal chamber and the women he filled with joy, saying, Proclaim this to the apostles.
and thus let us cry aloud. Christ is risen from the dead by death trampling down upon death and to those in the tombs he has granted life Doxa sito dixan dito fos Doxa We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord. Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, this day that we be kept without sin. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. <laughs> Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Christos Anesti Eknekron Thanato of the holy churches of God and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the devout and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Makarios, the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the great and holy Church of Christ, for our holy archdiocese, for this city and parish, and for every city and land, and for the believers who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick, suffering, or captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and love for humanity ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth, through the intercessions of the Theotok, our Savior, save us. Say to God how fearful are your words through the intercessions of the Theotok, our Savior, save us. O Sayy, proskinisato sansi, kepsalato sansi. 
Ο Θεό τη Ιχάρη τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσμηνή Μον Θεοτόκου και Αϊ Παρθένου Μαρία, με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθό. Κύριο Θεό, ημών σώσον των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου, το πλήρωμα τη Εκκλησία σου φύλαξον. Αγία σου του αγαπώντα την ευπρέπεια του οίκου σου ή από του αντιδόξε σου τη θέκη σου δυνάμει και μη εγκαταλείπει εμά του ελπίζοντα επί σε ότι σών το κράτο και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Και το γύσε ημά. Σωσόν ημά η έθεο, ο αναστά εκ νεκρών. Σαλοντά η αλληλούια. May he cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. So Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and of our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, you have granted us to offer these common prayers in unison and have promised that when two or three agree in your name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the petitions of your servants, as may be of benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come eternal life. For you, O God, are good and love humanity, and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Διασκορπιστή του σαν οι εχθροί αυτού και φύγε του σαν από προσώπου αυτού. Οι μισούντε αυτό. Χριστό σαν εσύ.
Σοφία ορθή. by the Seraphim with a thrice holy voice, glorified by the Cherubim and worshipped by every celestial power. You have brought all things into being out of non-being. You have created humanity according to your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask and you do not overlook the sinner but have set repentance as the path of salvation. You have granted us, the clergy, your humble and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice and to offer to you appropriate worship and praise. Master, accept the Trisayon hymn also from the lips of our sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all our voluntary and involuntary transgressions sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship you in holiness all the days of our lives through the intercessions of the holy theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages for you our god are holy and to you we offer glory father son and holy spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages.
Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God sing praises, clap your hands all you nations, wisdom, the reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, let us be attentive. In those days, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived at Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralysed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was a Joppa, a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she fell sick and died, and when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, entreating him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them, and when he had come, they took him to the upper room. All the windows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, rise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive, and it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Εν τες ημέρες εκείνες, εγένε το Πέτρον, διερχόμενον δια πάντων κατελθήν και προς τους Αγίους τους κατοικούντας λίδαν, έβρε δε εκεί άνθρωπον τίνα εννέαν ονόματι, εξετών οκτώ κατακείμενον επί κραβάτο ως ειν παραλελειμένος. Και είπεν αυτό ο Πέτρος, εννέα ιατέ σε Ιησούς ο Χριστός, Ανάστηθη και στρώσον σε αυτό, και ευθέω ανέστη, και είδον αυτόν πάντε οι κατοικούντε λίδαν και το σαρώνα, ή την επέστρεψαν επί των κύριων. Εν οι όποι δε τη ειν μαθήτρια νόματι τα βυθά, η διερμηνευωμένη λέγεται δορκά, αυτή ειν πλήρη αγαθών έργων και λεημοσυνών ον επί. Εγένετο δε εν τε ημέρε εκείνε ασθενήσασαν αυτήν αποθανήν, λούσαντες δε αυτήν έθηκαν εν υπερό. Ευγείς δε ουσείς λίδης, τι όποι οι μαθητέ ακούσαντες ότι Πέτρος εστίν εν αυτή, απέστειλεν δύο άνδρας προς αυτόν και παρακαλούντας μη οκνήσε διελθήν έως αυτόν. Αναστάς δε Πέτρον συνήθελν αυτής, «Ον παραγενόμενον ανοίγαγον εις των υπερών, και παρέστησαν αυτό πάσε εχρίε, κλαίουσε και επιδεικνύμενε χιτόνας και η μάτια όσα επίει με ταυτόν ούσα η δορκάς. Εκβαλών δε έξω πάντα ο Πέτρος θείς τα γόνατα προσήφξατο, και επιστρέψας προς το σώμα, είπε, «Τα βυθά ανάστηθη, η δε ίνιξε τους οφθαλμούς αυτής, και η δούσα των Πέτρων ανεκάθισε. Δούς δε αυτή χείρα ανέστησεν αυτήν, 
φωνή σα δε αυτού Αγίου και τα σχήρα παρέστησαν αυτήν ζώσαν. Γνώστον δε γένε το καθόλη τη Ιωπή και πολλοί επίστευσαν επί τον κύριο. God and protect us. Gospel according to John, let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Hebrew called Phithesda, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever stepped in first after the troubling of the water was healed of whatever disease he had. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. Jesus, seeing him, and knowing that he had been lying there a long time, said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is troubled, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Arise, take up your pallet, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day happened to be a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. Το καιρό εκείνο ανέβη ο Ιησούς εις Ιεροσόλυμα. Έστει δεν της Ιεροσολύμης επί την προβατική κολυμβήθρα, η επιλεγωμένη Εβραϊστή Βηθεσδά, πέντε στο ασέχουσα. Εν τάφτες, κατέκει το πλήθος πολύ των ασθενούντων, τυφλών, χολών, ξηρών, εκδεχομένων την του είδατος κίνησιν. Άγγελος γάρ κατά καιρών κατέβαινεν εν την κολυμβήθρα, και ταράσε το το είδωρ, 
ο ουν πρώτος εμβάς μετά την ταραχήν του ύδατος, η γη σε γίνετο, ο δίποτε κατήχε το νοσήματι. Ήνδε της άνθρωπος εκεί, τριάκοντα και οκτώ έτη έχων, εν διασθενία αυτού. Τούτον ειδών ο Ιησούς, κατά κείμενον, και γνούς ότι πολλήν ήδη χρόνων έχει, λέγει αυτό θέλεις υγιείς γενέστε, απεκρίθη αυτό ασθενών. Κύριε, άνθρωπον ού και έχω, ή να όταν ταραχθεί το είδωρ, βάλει με εις την κολυμβήθραν. Ενώ δε έρχομαι εγώ, άλλος προεμού καταβαίνει. Λέγει αυτό ο Ιησούς, έγιρε, άρον τον κράβατόν σου και περιπάτη. Και ευθέως εγένε το υγιής ο άνθρωπος και ήρε τον κράβατον αυτού και περιεπάτη. Ήνδε Σάββατον εν εκείνη τη ημέρα. Έλεγον ούν οι Ιουδαίοι το τεθεραπευμένο, Σάββατον εστί, ού και εξεστίσι άρε τον κράβατον. Απεκρίθη αυτής, ο ποιήσας με υγιή, εκείνος μη είπεν άρον τον κράβατον σου και περιπάτη. Ιρώτησαν ούν αυτόν, τι σε στην ο άνθρωπος ο υπόνσι άρον τον κράβατον σου και περιπάτη. Ο δε η αθής, ούκ ήδη τι σε στην, ο γαρι Ιησούς εξένευσεν, όχλου όντως εν το τόπο. Μετά τα αυτά ευρίσκει αυτόν ο Ιησούς εν το ιερό και είπεν αυτό, «Είδε, υγιής γέγονας, μη και τι αμάρθανε, ή να μη χείρον σι τη γέννητε». Απήλθεν ο άνθρωπος και ανήγγειλε της Ιουδαίης, ότι Ιησούς εστίν, ο ποιήσας αυτόν Σήμερα, αδελφοί, είναι η λεγόμενη Κυριακή του Παραλίτου και η Εκκλησία μας υπενθυμίζει ένα θαυμαστό γεγονός από το κατά Ιωάννην Ευαγγέλιο χωρίς να μας απομακρύνει ούτε από το Πασχάλιο κλίμα της περίοδου ούτε από το περιβάλλον της Αγίας Πόλεως. Ο Ιησούς συναντά έναν βασανισμένο άνθρωπο και τον θεραπεύει από την φοβερή ασθένειά του. Ανάλογα θαύματα, ο Ιησούς είχε ενεργήσει πάμπολα, πάντοτε όμως διακριτικά, από τα οποία άλλα αναφέρονται στα Ευαγγέλια και άλλα όχι. Στην προκειμένη περίπτωση, πάντως, το ενδιαφέρον δεν εστιάζεται τόσο στο ίδιο το θαύμα, όσο στην στοιχομηθία, τον διάλογο του Ιησού με τον ασθενή, η οποία προηγείται. Καθώς και σε όσα επακολουθούν μετά το θαύμα. Όταν ο Ιησούς προσεγγίζει τον παράλυτο άνθρωπο, γνωρίζει ασφαλώς πολύ καλά την κατάσταση της υγείας του, αλλά και της ψυχής του. Η ερώτηση που του υποβάλλει φαίνεται ίσως αφελής. Θέλεις υγιής γενέσθε; Θέλεις να γίνεις υγιής; Η απάντηση στο ερώτημα αυτό θεωρητικά είναι αυτονόητη. Μα και βέβαια θέλω. Και ποιος δεν θα το ήθελε. Ίσως γι' αυτόν τον λόγο ο ασθενής παραλείπει την απόκριση. Παραπονούμενος ότι δεν του παρέχεται η πολυπόθητη αυτή δυνατότητα. <coughs> Και όμως η απλή αυτή ερώτηση κάθε άλλο παρά περί τι είναι 
για τον καρδιογνώστη Χριστό. Ο άνθρωπος αδελφή μετά την έξωση από τον Παράδεισο βασανίζεται στη ζωή και υποφέρει με πολλούς τρόπους, παντιοτρόπους. Πολλές φορές μάλιστα αποδίδει την κακοπάθειά του στον ίδιο τον Θεό. Τι έφτεξα και μου έδωσε ο Θεός αυτό και αυτό. Είναι όμως πράγματι έτσι. Μήπως πολλές φορές ευθυνόμαστε και εμείς οι ίδιοι για τα δεινά μας. Μήπως ορισμένες φορές οι περιστάσεις και οι αντικσοότητες τη ζωής δεν είναι παρά ένα βολικό άλοθη για να αποποιηθούμε με ευκολία τις δικές μας ευθύνες και τελικά είναι ποτέ δυνατόν να θεραπευθούμε εάν εμείς δεν αγωνιζόμαστε για το σκοπό αυτό. Το παράπονο βέβαια του παραλίτου φαίνεται εύλογο. Άνθρωπον ου και έχω. Δεν έχω άνθρωπο. Αλήθεια, πόση μοναξιά, πόση εγκατάληψη, πόση απογοήτευση κρύβει η τραγική αυτή φράση. Άνθρωπο δεν έχω. Και πόσους ανθρώπους διαχρονικά εκφράζει. Το παράπονο όμως αυτό δεν απευθύνεται στον Θεό αλλά στον συνάνθρωπο. Πώς είναι δυνατόν με τόσο κόσμο να συνοστίζεται στην προβατική πύλη καθημερινά, να μην ευαισθητοποιήθηκε έστω μία φορά στα 18 χρόνια κάποιος περαστικός, ώστε να βοηθήσει το ταλαιπωρημένο αυτό πλάσμα του Θεού. Δεν σκέφτηκε ποτέ κανείς ότι στη θέση του δίσμηρου εκείνου ανθρώπου θα μπορούσε πολύ εύκολα να βρίσκεται ο κάθε ίδιος, ο καθής. Αμήλικτα τα ερωτήματα. Και θα πρέπει ο καθένας από εμάς να τα θέσει στον εαυτό του. Είναι γεγονός ότι εμείς εμείς οι άνθρωποι κινούμαστε με γνώμονα το ατομικό μας συμφέρον και δεν είναι εύκολο να συνειδητοποιήσουμε ότι ο διπλανός μας μπορεί να έχει περισσότερη ανάγκη από εμάς. Ο κόσμος κρίνει με βάση τα δικά του κριτήρια, τα οποία δεν είναι πάντοτε δίκαια. Κάποτε μάλιστα όχι μόνο αποστρέφουμε το βλέμμα από αυτόν που έχει ανάγκη τη βοήθειά μας, αλλά παριστάνουμε πως αγνοούμε την ύπαρξή του. Αποφεύγουμε την συναναστροφή μαζί του και τον καταδικάζουμε σε απομόνωση και κοινωνικό αποκλεισμό. Ακόμη χειρότερα, πόσες φορές δεν έχει τύχει να ακούσουμε ή να πούμε στην καθημερινότητά μας καλά να πάθει. Ποιοι είμαστε όμως εμείς που θα κρίνουμε τον διπλανό μας. Ας θυμόμαστε λοιπόν κάθε φορά που μένουμε πεισματικά ασυγκίνητοι μπροστά στο δράμα του συνανθρώπου ότι είμαστε υπόλογοι έναντι του Θεού όχι μόνο για τις αμαρτίες μας αλλά και για τις ευεργεσίες που αρνούμαστε να διαπράξουμε. Θα περίμενε κανείς από τους ανθρώπους εκείνους οι οποίοι επί 38 έτη αρνούνταν να τίνουν το χέρι στον Πάσχοντα, να επικροτήσουν εκείνον που το έπραξε ή τουλάχιστον να σιωπήσουν εσχυνόμενοι μπροστά στη μεγαλοσύνη της πράξης του. 
συναισθανόμενοι το βάρος της ενοχής. Ανταυτού όμως τι πράττουν. Αγανακτούν από πάνω. Διότι αγνόησε δίθεν την αργία του Σαββάτου. Πόση αναλγησία, πόσο βαθιά πνευματική παράλυση, φοβερότερη και από τη σωματική από την οποία έπασχε εκείνος ο άνθρωπος που θεραπεύθηκε. Μοιάζουν οι άνθρωποι αυτοί με εκείνον στον οποίο κάποιος δείχνει το φεγγάρι, αλλά εκείνος επιμένει να παρατηρεί το δάχτυλο. Ας προσέξουμε αδελφοί μου και ας ελέγχουμε συνεχώς τον εαυτό μας ώστε να μην γινόμαστε και εμείς απάνθρωποι. Αλλά συνιέντες τι το θέλημα του Κυρίου. Αμήν. Brothers and sisters, the sermon in English will be given at the end. Thank you for your patience. Όπως υπό του κράτου σου πάντοτε φυλατόμενοι συδόξαν αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ειν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων.
gifts here presented let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy for this holy house and those who enter it with faith reverence and fear of God let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy for seasonable weather for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy that this whole day may be holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Dear O Theos, O Pandocrator, Monos Agios, O Ecdechomenos, O Ecdechomenos, O Ecdechomenos, O Ecdechomenos, Υπέρ των ημετέρων αμαρτημάτων και των του λαού αγνοημάτων, και καταξίωσον ημά ευρύν χάριν ενώπιον σου του γενέστε εσύ επρόσδεκτον την θυσίαν ημών, και επισκηνώσε το πνεύμα τη χάρη τόσο του αγαθών εφημά και επί τα προκύμνα δώρα ταύτα και επί πάντα των λαών σου. Διά των νικτήρμων του μονογενού σου ιού μεθού ευλογητό συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι. Νην και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Peace be with you all. Let us be loving to one another, that with one mind we may proclaim. the doors in wisdom let us be attentive i believe in one god father almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all ages light from light true god from true god begotten not made of one essence with the father through him all things were made who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit 
and the Virgin Mary became human and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified and who spoke through the prophets, in one holy, catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well. Let us stand with reverence. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to hymn you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-being into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom, which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest or hidden that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels attend you, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Λάβετε, φάγετε, τούτο μου έστει το σώμα το υπερημών κλώμενων εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών. Αμήν. Πιέτε εξ αυτού πάντες, τούτο έστει το αίμα μου το της Καινής Διαθήκης, το υπερημών και πολλών εκκινόμενων εις άφεσιν Περιμών και γεννημένων του Σταυρού, του Τάφου, τη Τρίμερου, Αναστάσεω, τη Εκδουρανού Αναβάσεω, τη Δεξιών Καθέδρα, τη Δευτέρα και Δόξου Πάλιν Παρουσία, τα Σάκ των Σών. Συ προσφέρομεν κατά πάντα και δια πάντα.
ότι προσφερομέν σε την λογική ταύτην και ανέμακτων λατρείαν και παρακαλούμεν σε και δεόμεθα και εκετεύομεν, κατάπεμψον το πνεύμα στο Άγιον εφημά και επί τα προκείμενα δώρα ταύτα, και ποιήσον το μεν άρτον τούτον, τίμιον σώμα του Χριστού σου. Αμήν. Αμήν. Το δέν το ποτηρίο τούτο, τίμιον αίμα του Χριστού σου. Αμήν. Αμήν. Μεταβαλών το πνευματί σου το Αγίο. Αμήν, αμήν, αμήν. Ωστε γενέστε τη μεταλαμβάνωση τη νύψη ψυχή, ει άφεση να μαρθιών, ει κοινωνία του Αγίου Σου Πνεύματο, ει βασιλεία ουρανών πλήρωμα, ει παρησίαν την προσέ, μη ει κρίμα ή κατάκριμα. Έτσι προσφερομένση την λογική ταύτη λατρείαν υπέρ των επίστηνα παυσαμένων, προπατόρων, πατέρων, πατριαρχών, προφητών, αποστόλων, κηρύκων, ευαγγελιστών, μαρτύρων, ομολογητών, εγκρατευτών και παντό πνεύματο δικαίου εν πίστη τελειωμένου. Εξαιρέτω τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου, δεσπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία. Τη μνηστητή κύριε του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Μακαρίου, αν χάρισε τι Αγίε σου Εκκλησίε εν ειρήνη, <coughs> σον έντιμον για μακροημερεύοντα και ορθοτομούντα των λόγων τη ίσα αληθεία, και ο νέκαστο κατά διάνοια ανέχει και πάντων και πασών. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live, and every city and land, and the believers who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who are traveling by land, or sea, or air. Remember those who are sick, suffering, or captive, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. And upon us all send forth your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honourable and majestic name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and for ever, and to the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ will be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our God who loves humanity, having accepted the Mary's holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, o Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you, Grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and confidence before you, not unto judgment or condemnation, 
and grant us, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare call upon you the heavenly God as Father and to say. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For Amen. yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. With your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from non being into being. Look down from heaven, Master, upon those who bow their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who are traveling. Heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for humanity of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Hear us, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom and come to sanctify us. You who are enthroned with the Father up high and are present among us invisibly here and with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts are for the holy ones. One is holy. One is Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ to the to the God of 
To him who poised the earth and the waters, his mercy is eternal. Let 
Israel through the midst of it, his mercy is eternal. Shook off Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. His mercy is eternal. his people in the wilderness, his mercy is eternal. your inheritance. Μεταλαβώντε των θείων Αγίων, Αχράντων, Αθανάτων, Επουρανίων και Ζωπιών, Φρικτών του Χριστού Μυστηρίων, αξίω ευχαριστήσω μεν το κυρίω. Τη λαβού όσων ελέγχουν και διαφύλαξαν ημά ο Θεό τη Ιχάρητη. Την ημέρα πάσαν τελεία Αναγία, Ειρηνική και Αναμάρτητων ετισάμενη. Εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό του Θεό παραθόμεθα. Ευχαριστούμε συνδέσου τα φιλάνθρωπε ευεργέτα των ψυχών ημών, ότι και την παρούση ημέρα κατηξίω σα ημά των επουρανίου και θανάτων μυστηρίων, ορθοτόμησον ημών την οδόν, στήριξον ημά εν το φόβο σου του πάντα, φρούριζον ημών την ζωή, να ασφάλισε ημών τα διαβήματα, ευχέ και ηκεσίε. Τη ενδόξου Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία και πάνω των Αγίων σου. Ότι εσύ ο Αγιασμό ημών και εσύ τη δόξα να αναπέμπω μεν το πατρί και το ιό και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την ειν και αϊ και ει του αιώνα στον αιώνα. Αμήν. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to those in authority, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer glory, thanksgiving, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Με τα πνευμάτων δικαίων τετελειωμένων, τα ψυχά των δούλων σου σώτερα ανάπαυσον, φυλά των αυτά στην μακαρίαν ζωή την παρασύ φιλάνθρωπε. Και στην κατάπαυση σου, Κύριε, όπου πάντα οι Αγίοι σου αναπαύονται, ανάπαυσον, και τα ψυχά των δούλων σου, ότι μόνο υπάρχει σαν θάνατο. Δόξα του Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίου Πνεύματι, Σύα Θεός ήμουν ο καταβάσις άδει, και τα σωδύνας λύσας των πεπαιδημένων, αυτός και τα ψυχάς των δούλων σου, σώτερα να παυσόν, και νυν και αοί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων να μην, η μόνη αγνή και ο φρόντος παρθένος, η Θεόνα φράστος κι ίσασα, πρες βεβαίου του ελεή δίνε τας ψυχάς των δουλών σου. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. We pray for the repose of the souls of the sleeping servants of God, Βασίλειος and Ελευθερία, and for the forgiveness of their every offense, whether deliberate or unintended. That the Lord our God may place their soul with the righteous dwell for the mercies of God, the kingdom of the heavens, and the remission of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Ο Θεό των πνευμάτων και πάση αρχό των θάνατων καταπατή σα, των δε διάβολων καταργή σα και ζωή του κόσμου στον ορισάμενο, αυτό κύριε ανάπαυσον τα ψυχά των και κοιμημένων δούλων σου, βασιλείου και ελευθερία, εν τόπο φωτεινό, εν τόπο χλωερό, εν τόπο αναψύξεω, εν τα απέδρα πάσα, οδύνη, λύπη και στεναγμό. Παναμάρτημα του παραυτών πραχθέν, εν λόγω ή έργο η διανία, ω αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό συγχώρησον. Ότι ουκέ στην άνθρωπο, ο ζήσετε και ουχα μαρτήσει, σίγαρ μόνο εκτό αμαρτία υπάρχει η δικαιοσύνη σου, δικαιοσύνη στον αιώνα και ο νόμο σου αλήθεια. For you are the resurrection, the life and the repose of your sleeping servants, Βασίλειο and Ελευθερία, O Christ our God, and to you we offer glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good and life giving spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Eternal be the memory, eternal be the memory, eternal be the memory. May the blessing and mercy of the Lord come upon you by His divine grace and love for humanity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Father bless. May Christ, the our true God, who rose from the dead through the intercessions of his all pure and all blameless Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing ancestors, of the holy great martyr George, the trophy bearer, the patron of this church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the saints whose memory we keep today, the holy father Pachomios the Great, and the holy father Achilios, Archbishop of Larissa, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Christos Anesti. 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 Και τη έντιμη μα η ζωή χαρισάμενο. Αλλιώ ανέστη ο κύριο. Αλλιώ μα, please be seated for the sermon and the announcements. Brothers and sisters, today marks the third week after Easter, and we are still in the flavor of the season. We are still in the atmosphere of Easter, Pascha. And if you were to try and follow patterns and common themes, you would have noticed that Easter was followed by a Sunday in which we remembered the Apostle Thomas and his experience with the resurrected Christ, followed by last week's commemoration, which was that of the myrrh-bearing women and their experience of the resurrected Christ. And we slowly transition to other parts of the Gospel in which we still speak of resurrection. The Greek word for resurrection is anastasis. And if we were to say anasta, that actually says arise, get up. So the concept of, or the instruction of Jesus that we heard in today's Gospel of get up, arise, is not an accident. That the Church Fathers felt that we should appoint passages over the few Sundays after Easter that use the word anasta, or anastasi, an anastasi or anastithi. In English, that is rendered as either arise or get up. And so, whereas the last few Sundays have been about the experience of the resurrected Christ, the two scripture readings that we read today, both of them mention miracles that happen after the word anasta is said. The first one being a miracle that happened many years after Jesus' resurrection when the disciples were visiting the city of Iopi or Joppa and that you can go and visit Iopa today in this day and age. It is near Lida, Lida being the birthplace of our very Saint George. And the miracle that happened there was that the Apostle Peter resurrected a woman called Dorcas by saying, Tabitha Anastithi, Tabitha, arise. Tabitha was her Hebrew name and translated into Greek it was Dorcas, Dorcada. 
Likewise, in the Gospel reading which we read today, we see a miracle that happened way before the resurrection, but also has Jesus himself using the words, Arise. We're going to look at this in a bit more detail today. Jesus goes to Jerusalem. He visits a pool. Now, when we say pool in the Bible, we don't mean a swimming pool like we, do, we have today, but a reservoir, a uh, constructed reservoir where people would get water supply for themselves. And many cities would, because of you know, um, you know, pipes and taps and things, would feed water through aqueducts and end them up in reservoirs in the city. So people would still go to these little reservoirs, open reservoirs, and get water for themselves. One of these reservoirs or pools in Jerusalem was called Bethesda. Bethesda. And there would have been porticos built around this reservoir, this pool, so that people would have shelter when they would go and get water for themselves. If you were to, um, otherwise known as the Pool of Siloam. Now around this pool, there were many invalids, disabled people. And in an age where, unlike today, where we can help people through modern medicine and technology, in those days, many conditions could not be rectified. And so we have many disabled people, invalids, blind people, uh, lame people, paralyzed people, who would gather around this pool why? Because as the Bible tells us, what would happen every now and then, katakeron, at certain seasons, was that the water would suddenly be troubled. Whereas the water was normally still, there would be moments where the water would be troubled. And that was understood as an angel of the Lord stirring the water. Why did they come to this conclusion? Because what would happen is that people who would step in first after the troubling of that water would be healed of their ailment or disease. And so because that pool and this supernatural event that would be associated with this pool was taking place, that explains why there was a multitude of invalids there. They heard that this thing happens. And so there, was, there, was, there were many people gathered around this pool. There was one man who had been unwell for 38 years. And this man was paralyzed. We can assume that he was paralyzed uh, either from the hip down or, you know, paraplegic, probably paraplegic, as opposed to quadriplegic. And that was the problem. He couldn't get into the water. No matter how many times and how many years he waited, he couldn't get himself in the water. And that explains him being there for 38 years. The other thing that is of note here is that all these invalids, if you're blind, you can't work in that era. So if you could not work, you basically starved. And the only way you could eat is to beg, beg for money. And so this pool served as a, as a double sort of purpose or use in society. One was for the invalids to be healed and to be there, but also because people were coming for their water, they would pass the beggars and the beggars would ask for money. You can imagine a person who was paralyzed in that day and age. No welfare system like today, 
mind you, the welfare systems that, that we understand in our uh, modern societies are not even 100 years old. The welfare system is less than 100 years old. So even 100 years ago, people who were not able-bodied would virtually starve. And the only way they could survive is to beg. And so that pool serves that purpose as well as a gathering point of the local community and for this to be occurring. Jesus comes. And Jesus notices the man, his plight and his pain. Goes right up to him and says, do you want to be healed? Now, if we were in that man's position, we would say, you're asking me a silly question. I've been here 38 years. Can't you see what condition I am? Perhaps someone would have thought that. He's asking such a obvious question. And the, the man doesn't say yes. He probably thinks, well, I don't want to embarrass the person who's asking. And so he gives a reason why he has not been healed. He says to Jesus, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is troubled. And while I am going, we can imagine him, if he's paralyzed from the hip down, he's probably working at it with his elbows. And while I am going, another one steps down before me. And you, you can imagine every time this would happen that he would feel this sense of missing out. Jesus says to him, Egire, get up. Take up your pallet and walk. Now what is that? Can you imagine someone just coming up to a paralyzed person, a paralytic, a disabled person, and saying, get up, take your pallet, your mattress, and walk? Who can say that? The man is immediately healed. He takes up his mattress, whatever mat he had there, and he walks away. Now, the situation is this. People would have been coming past this man for 38 years, arguably not even giving him some money, let alone pushing him into the water to cure him. Not their business, not my business. I can't help them. I'm here for my water. I'm here for my water supply. Not my problem. And they, none of them in 38 years, and this could be each and every one of us, including myself, none of them stretched out their hand either to help the person with some money or with his problem. And the one moment someone did, the one moment that someone actually said, get up and walk, and actually helps the man, those people who for 38 years did nothing still had something to complain about. They noticed the man carrying his mat, his mattress, which is technically against the rules of the Sabbath. That the Sabbath is a day of rest, and not only should you not work, but you should also not carry things, do things, just, just float. Apparently that was the understanding of, the, of rest. Just, just, just do nothing. Just, just float during the day. Cook the day before. Manage to eat from the cooking you've made before. Don't do anything. He's carrying his mattress. He's breaking the rules. And so people are complaining to him. It is the Sabbath. 
It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. <laughs> Can you imagine this person? After 38 years, he doesn't care about anything else other than going home. And there's people in the crowd saying, why are you carrying your mattress? Why are you doing the wrong thing? <coughs> and he answers in a very simple way. He says, the man who healed me said to me, take up your pallet, take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who said to you, take up your mat and walk? And the paralyzed man did not know who it was. Because at that moment, Jesus withdrew. He often does this, Jesus, with his miracles. He does the miracle not to show or to show off, and he suddenly disappears. There, we are told that there was a crowd in the place, and there was no further dialogue uh, between the man and Jesus at the pool of Bethesda. Eventually, they meet again. Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse befall you. This is interesting. That he actually attaches or connects, Jesus connects the life of sin or the phenomenon of sin as somehow connected to our plight. Not always, because there are a couple of other miracles in which he's actually asked that question specifically. There's a similar one where the people say, Lord, who sinned that this child be born blind? I think that's next week's um, gospel reading, that this person be born blind. He or his parents? If he was born blind, how could it be him? Did his parents do something wrong and you've got this um, retribution happening upon this person in the form of illness? And he says no. In that case, no. But in this case here, not that Jesus is suggesting that the man did anything wrong 38 years ago, but if we think, and I've mentioned this a million times before, the definition of sin is not crime, but our, just our human nature, our fallible nature, our ability to do the wrong thing, make mistakes, make the wrong choices in life. And sometimes our choices have an effect on our health. I'm stating the obvious. Somehow, sometimes, many times, what we choose to do in our life, how we live our life, what we ingest, what we do with our lives, has a bad effect on our health. And so with Jesus saying, sin no more that nothing worse befall you, he's stating a reality. It's not an absolute reality because we know that many conditions are not connected to our choices, but many of them are. And this is sobering for us all that we should consider that our health is sometimes considered uh, connected with the choices that we make in our life. Brothers and sisters, the final note I'd like to make is that when the man was asked by Jesus, do you want to be healed? Remember what his answer was. I have no one. Anthroponukeho. And this is an indictment on human society, both of 2,000 years ago and of today, that people should be in a place, in a position in life where they would be saying such a thing. I don't have someone. I don't have anyone. I don't have family. I don't have acquaintances, friends. It is a tragic thing to say. And so, as Christians, what we are invited to be is what Jesus was to this person, a lending hand, a helping hand, one way or another helping people to get up from their condition, from their state, 
whatever their problem is. I'm not saying we can always help. I'm not saying that we can always help successfully and I'm not saying we can always be successful in our attempt to help. But we should try. And it's much better than not even bothering to help at all. And it is much better to not be in the position of those people that when help does come, to somehow have something to whinge about or complain about. May the resurrected Lord, brothers and sisters, also resurrect us from our spiritual paralysis and help us help others in their either physical or spiritual paralysis. Amen. Now the announcements for today. I mentioned last week that we were doing a private screening at Bondi Junction at uh, event cinemas of the movie <clears throat> Man of God and we pretty much sold out of the tickets in a couple of days. Uh, the, and we won't be running a second screening. So uh, apologies to those who missed out. Uh, but the movie will be in the, in the movies in a, in a month or two. And uh, of course it was nice that we were able to go as a community, those who managed the book. Uh, and a couple of other parishes are also doing a few screenings and they still have some spots. So if you just um, search Man of God private screening and Greek Orthodox, um, you, you, you'll come up the come up with the social posts of the other churches. <coughs> Excuse me. Consolation is that uh, there is a cruise on one of the nights of Vivid. So we've got Vivid coming up uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, with all the lights uh, being beamed onto buildings in the city. And uh, there is a cruise in the harbour of uh, Sydney from uh, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the 29th of May, that's a Sunday night. Sunday evening and if you're interested in joining with our community um, for this vivid cruise uh, please contact the office and we will also put the link to the uh, booking form uh, in the comments section to this video today's service our next search service is on Wednesday the 18th of May being mid Pentecost and Saturday the 21st of May uh, St. Constantine and Helen, we will run a liturgy. That is also election day and uh, as I say always when we have elections, it is not my place to tell you who to vote for, but it is my place to tell you that you should vote in an informed way, understand policies, research policies, Line them up and say, is this what I truly believe in? Is this what I truly stand for? Is this policy something that is against the church's principles? So if it's against the church's principles, why am I voting for these people? These things have to count and matter in a responsible Christian's place in society. And in this uh, vein, uh, on Tuesday night, the youth group talk will be exactly this, how to make an informed and values-based vote. I'll be giving the speech, uh, the talk, the discussion uh, to our young adults, and I invite everyone who is 18 to 30 years old to attend in the hall downstairs Tuesday night, 7 p.m. And I'll run through a few examples. Once again, I won't be telling people how to vote, but we'll put up a few graphs, we'll put up a few videos to show you that it is very, very incumbent upon us to make the right choice of vote because we get consequences as we have seen in the past. <clears throat> the other things that are listed for announcements are, are the usual things, so I won't tie you with that. Other than morning teas being served downstairs in the hall, and I'll just say a couple of things in Greek. Αγαπητοί αδελφοί, την Τετάρτη έχουμε λειτουργία τη Μεσοπεντικοστή και το Σάββατο έχουμε λειτουργία του Αγίου Κωνσταντίνου και τη Αγία Ελένη.
Το Σάββατο, όπως εξήγησα και στα Αγγλικά, γίνονται εκλογές εδώ στην Αυστραλία για την Ομοσπονδιακή Βουλή. Όπως είπα και στα Αγγλικά, δεν είναι θέση μας ως ιερείς να λέμε στον κόσμο ποιον να ψηφίσουν, αλλά είναι θέση μας και ευθύνη μας να λέμε στον κόσμο ότι η ψήφο μας πρέπει να είναι σόφρονας, σόφρονη ψήφο, με κάποια λογική, με κάποια βάση, με κάποιες αρχές, να σκεφτόμαστε αυτοί που είναι υποψήφιοι, τι πρεσβεύουν, ποια είναι η πολιτική τους, συνάδει με την Εκκλησία, συμφωνεί με την Εκκλησία, δεν συμφωνεί, πώς ψηφίζουμε κάποιον ο οποίος πράττει και πρεσβεύει πράγματα τα οποία είναι εναντίον της Εκκλησίας της Αρχές και να σκεφτούμε πώς θα κάνουμε μία ψήφο ενημερωμένη και βάσει των αξιών που έχει η Εκκλησία. Δεν θα σας το πω εγώ, θα το αποφασίσετε οι ίδιοι για να μην νομίσετε ότι εγώ εκφέρω πολιτικό λόγο. Όμως εκφέρω πνευματικό και υπεύθυνο λόγο. Πρωινό κέρασμα στην αίθουσα της Εκκλησίας μας. Μόλις πάρετε τον αντίδωρο, παρακαλώ περάστε κάτω και σας ευχαριστώ για την παρουσία σας εδώ. Those watching the live stream, please tap the like button and um, share the video with your friends. That helps us grow in, in the viewership and we thank you for attending even uh, online.